What's going on, y'all? It's Eat with Pastor Blackwood. This is what we have here today, y'all. We got salmon. We got how I made it. I'm going to tell you how I made it. You know how I make my food with some love. That's the secret ingredient. We got lemon on top. We got pink Himalayan salt, uh, pepper, oregano, Italian parsley, parsley. Uh, we got green scallion, red pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, and I made my homemade macaroni and cheese. We're gonna get this show on the road. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. I don't know about y'all, Hopefully, you guys are sitting by the table, grabbing something to eat, eating with your boy. All right, we better get the show on the road. Amen. Listen, y'all, everything's going to be in the description box. All the recipe that I have here, you guys got to check it out in the, uh, the actual description box as well. Also, your boy doing some grown man things on OnlyFans. You guys check that out too as well. And let's go ahead and eat, man. Like, I'm hungry. I know you hungry. You guys want to see me eat, so I'm going to go ahead and eat for you guys. Mm. Amazing. Wow. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I use the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella cheese together, which is really good. And I can make use it with the, the base with the coconut milk with no sugar and a little bit of butter. And you mass, it give you a masterpiece like this. Mmm. Mmm. This salmon, what? Whoa. Like I said, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all all the recipe here and I'm gonna give you everything. There's one thing I love about this. I love me some good food, y'all. Ladies, get your man that can cook you some good food. You hear me? Mm. Because this, I'm laying the smack down on this boy. This is delicious. Hands down. I'm just, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but, well, I am. I, I ain't gonna lie. I am doing that. That thing is so fire. That thing is so fire. I'm sorry. I don't know who could see me in the, in the kitchen like this. I'm out here putting out work. Mm. Wow. Well, the other day, y'all, I went on a road trip. That was part of my video. You'll probably see it on my main channel. Is going on a road trip, away game, to all the way to Serbia. Serbia is a 10 hour drive with my head coach and my defensive coordinator coach, which was very long, exhausting, but going to Serbia is actually beautiful. I didn't know how many things that I traveled to three countries Before I get there, you know, I gotta go past Czech, Slovakia, Hungary, then you get into Serbia. Man, that process was 
Wow. I didn't know that you're doing all these road trips and you're passing three different countries and I'm like this, just amazed of the different greenery and how rich the land looks. And what I mean by rich, how the land looks, it just looks very potent. Like you can tell that the nature out here is different from the United States. It's just, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And uh, going to Hungary, then going to uh, Serbia itself, man, sitting for 10 hours long drive, taking three breaks. My legs were hurting. I just needed to get up and walk all the time. It was just so bad. Um, it was a great experience, don't get me wrong. It was just like, yo. And then we got the, uh, the border. Once we got to the border, y'all, I swear to you, there was a long line. So you you know how like the freight trucks, they all lined up on one side, one side of the like the lane, just for all pickup trucks. It was a stupid long line. And don't get me wrong, cars that I was trying to get into Serbia, it's the same way. And I was just like, yo, imagine how it was. Just imagine how it was when you go back home. Boy. Once we got there, the city itself was different. It was different from Czech Republic. Uh, Everybody see me as like, they haven't seen me before. But it's different. Clearly very different. So we had our game there in Serbia, which we lost. It was pretty bad. Um, and I mean by pretty bad, because we was losing by 21-0 the first half. Then uh, everything started to click back. I scored my first, I scored my second touchdown in the second half. But we we got crazy, we got crazy mopped. We got out really bad. The final score was like 49 to 33. It don't seem bad in the scoreboard, but man, it was bad. It was bad. If you guys saw the game, it was really bad. You couldn't even imagine. I'm just saying like it's really bad. But uh During the game, the refs was cheating for the other team. And they was getting they was not making no calls for us at all. Um, all these late hits, trying to get our players hurt, all this craziness. So I'm like, yo. They didn't want to put up the time clock or how many minutes we have left. All this shady stuff. So I was like, yo, this is crazy. Why are we don't know our time? And then when we asked the ref on our side of the damn timeline, tell me how 
how a rep don't have a watch. And then he's telling us to go all the way to the other ref to ask him the time. Clearly, this is your job. Why you don't have a, a watch? That's crazy. That's insane. So we got our butt handed to us. Um, it's called a C left lead. So right now we out of that division. We lost to that division, so we don't we can't go for a championship there. Obviously, our division we're still undefeated, as we know. But C left, we can't we can't get that uh we can't get that championship at all. Let's talk about it. After the game, we're heading home and we're speeding back home just to get back towards Czech Republic, knowing that we were supposed to be back home at four o'clock. Well, that didn't happen. After we passed our first border of Serbia and then heading towards Serbia, second border heading towards the Hungary. Excuse me. Well, that line was crazy long. Crazy long. Man, listen. You know how long we was out there? Kids, you not. Two hours. Two hours of my time. Just line of cars piled up. Just going to two lanes. One for citizenship for Czech Republic or European. Uh, citizens and people that have all passport. That line was madness. People was walking out on the street, trying to use the bathroom, come back into the car. Better yet, do you know we had to pay to use the bathroom? Pay. It costs one euro just to use the bathroom. Insane, right? So, a nice little pee in the bottle. <laughs> Literally, pee in the bottle. So, once we got to the line and we got in the front, they do this they do this procedure. The security actually literally had to see your face. You gotta take off your your do-rag, your cap, whatever. And they gotta make sure you you are that person. You know what I mean? And um <clears throat> they check the back of your car just to see what you have there. And you have to show like a receipt why you in Serbia. It's Crazy out there. Crazy. Insane. So they want to make sure you ain't doing anything crazy out there. Well, crazy what you bringing back to that country. Mm-hmm. But heading back home was insane because it was the middle of the dark, it was the middle of the night. I was tired, I was trying to keep up, trying to keep my eyes open and everything. I would try to keep my head coach up because 
I had been driving for about 10 hours straight, going up there and 10 hours straight, going back. And it was tough. It was one of the things that, it's great because you get to actually know somebody and understand them and understand their personality. Also, you get to see all these great greenery in different countries that you explore within one day. That's exciting. So, you guys take a look at that on my main channel, at Patrick Blackwood. And you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. But until then, y'all, I'll see you guys on my next one. Love. Mm -hmm.